What we've just downloaded is the data from our listening stations. So these are our acoustic receivers that we've put all around Norfolk Island. Now these pick up any of our acoustically tagged sharks, let us know which individual it was that swam within about 500 meters, so about 0.3 miles from those listening stations. And have a look here, you can see already a bit of a cluster in this area. That's right around Headstone Bay. That's very interesting because in some ways we sort of expect that. Why burn energy to hunt when you can just go and get a free feed? Yeah. So given the sharks hanging around Headstone, we'd expect to see most of their diet being cow. But with these isotope results, boy, do I have something to show you. So these are the results I've just gotten back from the lab. Most of their diet is seabirds. Really? Yes. 52% seabird, only 10% is cow. That's surprising because, you know, I thought they'd pick off the occasional bird, but 52%. I was flabbergasted. I was so blown away. I had to triple check all of my data because I was so surprised. I guess, you know, we sort of had this idea that maybe the reason why Norfolk has these large sharks is that there's this cow and this mammal to actually like fuel their growth, you know, and, but as it turns out, it's not a cow or offal or something like that. It, Turns out it's something smaller, maybe driving these needs of these large sharks to be here. You know, that, that's what's fueling them is birds. Yeah, don't go to Macca's, go to... <laughs> Kentucky what's... Fried Chicken. Yeah, yeah, KFC <laughs> over Macca's. <laughs>